All right. Um, so now that we've started really late, who has read through chapter five? Halfway through. Halfway through. All right. Who um, <coughs> actually understands? Chapter who five? who <laughs> has not had? Who does not have like a background that includes um, like binary? Like, I think that's that's going to be the big differentiator. Like, if you've had a class or something that's gone over digital systems or binary or hex or anything like that, you're going to be just really really well off on chapter five but if you haven't that's probably it's probably going to be kind of rough um so i'm going to try to teach this as best i can in a single course like they i mean it, the fundamentals are, are not that bad but um if if you don't if you don't nail this down like you're going to have problems with a lot of other parts of the um the cisco course um because so a lot of it does rely on like understanding and at least having like a fundamental understanding of binary mm -hmm. um what if um, I, I have a better way around the, all the binary? You understand? Uh, you just click. You understand decimal, but not binary. That okay. doesn't do anything. No, I, I, I know, <laughs> but like I understand like the decimal and hexadecimal and binary conversions and uh -huh. all that. It really just clicked. I can just I almost do it in my head now. But what I don't really understand is like when we get into the IP address classes, okay, and stuff like that. Um, I don't think it's going to be too big of a gap. That's actually, uh, if I had more time today, that's the stuff I wanted to go back over in my head because I remember, you know, bits and pieces, and I could probably put it together. But um, yeah, well, that'll that'll be after we get past the binary stuff. But okay. um, like once you understand binary, okay. it'll give you the ability to understand subnet masking a lot better, and that'll help when you get to the you know num you're talking about like number of networks in a you know a subnet number of hosts and number of yeah, networks. Yeah, like the, the, the networks and hosts is just really okay. Yeah, yeah I, I can. I think we can show you some tricks on that. That'll be okay. like at the very end of. Um, There's a, the, a slash like twenty two and like the host groups and the network groups. Yeah, well, like the. Okay, so whenever you start looking at slider notation, which is like the slash thirty two, slash thirty one, slash thirty, you know, all that, you're gonna have to have slash 24 through slash 32 fairly well memorized because um, like most of the most of the questions you're going to have on the test like that are indirectly related to subnetting those are the those are going to be the subnets that they throw out it's real unlikely you're going to have like a slash you know 16 thrown out I mean there's a, there's a possibility you might get one question and if you get a slash 16 the, pr <coughs> the question is probably going to be something about how many hosts or network uh, networks are in that subnet like as far as like all the stuff where you'll you'll have like a simulation and they'll give you like a, some sets of IP addresses, almost every single time, if not every single time, those blocks of IP addresses are going to fall in the slash twenty four, you know, two five five two five five two five five dot zero to a, a slash thirty two. So slash twenty four, slash twenty five, slash twenty six, all the way to thirty two. You, you're going to have to like memorize those. Um, <coughs> all right, so. We'll start off at the beginning, uh, IP addressing and formats. Um, IP addresses, at least uh, IP version 4, we won't really get into IP version 6. I think it touches on it briefly at the end. Um, I IP version 4 addresses, which you guys are going to be really familiar with, is going to be is going to consist of 32 bits broken into four octets. So eight bits of ones and zeros um, in, each of those, in each of those octets. Um, and it's usually represented in dotted decimal format because it's easier for humans to understand. So, like, you've got there the 192.168.1.5 um, rather than, you know, just being a set, you know, a set of 32 ones and zeros. Um, and each octet ranges from 0 to, to 255. Um, the... Uh, the network ID is going to be 0, .0, 0.0.0.0, and the broadcast IP is IP is two five five two five five two five five two five five, and that's that's going to be across the board. Even whenever we um, when you break down um, smaller, when we start to get into VLSM variable link subnet masks and break that down, it's it's still going to be you know the first the first IP address in that range is going to be the network address, and the last one is going to be the broadcast address. Okay, so <coughs> binary language, as we talked about last time, uh, it's a values of zero and one, uh, off and on, because they're they're having to use transistors to relay this information. Um, binary is converted to decimal or hexadecimal, so humans can easily read and understand it. And right down here, uh, we've got 
powers of two corresponding to the decimal value. Since it's zero and one, you're, you've only got two values, so that's why you've got powers of two. So, you know, whatever, let's say you've got, and we'll see how well, let me see how it actually shows up up there. It's still like not perfect. That's not working at all. Oh, I know why. No, because I need to change my pointer type. <coughs> I'm still not reading it. Yeah, this is still like we still might be going to the board. That's not like out the best. Yeah, I'm, d I'm just going to do a lot of this on the board. This is, even with the uh, Wacom tablet, it's not coming out really well. Um, let me go over a couple of slides before I move it up there. And that's going to be the same thing. So, I'll just, I'll just do this on the board. <laughs> Build up, so we move one over. 